CSU Global welcomes you to Commencement 2019. Thank you for joining us today to recognize our graduates as they celebrate this great accomplishment by using all the knowledge they've acquired to propel them down the road to success. Colorado State University Global is proud to serve its worldwide community of modern learners as the first 100% online, fully accredited public state university. At CSU Global, our mission is to help students attain their goals of higher education with a superior return on investment in order to ensure students are prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. CSU Global opened to 208 students in 2008. Since then, our innovative faculty and staff have continued to redefine the experience of online education to drive the success of its students. The university has now served 38,000 students, including 18,000 alumni in over 60 countries and all U.S. states and territories. With high quality, affordable, career-relevant degree and certificate programs and a focus on career-relevant education, CSU Global measures success by its students' achievements. In a 2017 economic impact study, research showed that our methods have been paying off for our students and that with every dollar our modern learners spend on their CSU Global education, they see a return of $4 in earnings. The best investment one can make is an investment in themselves through a CSU Global education. In the spirit of promoting lifelong learning, CSU Global's innovative approach to meet new demands of the workforce is instilled at every level of our curriculum. CSU Global's bachelor's, master's, and certificate programs are designed to provide the career skills employers require in the highest areas of job growth. With over 3,000 organizational partners, the university is building a bigger network and consistently paving new, personalized pathways to career success. CSU Global's unique partnership with Aurora Public Schools since relocating to an innovative campus in Aurora, gives it an even greater ability to better serve the state of Colorado and beyond. This new era for the university is marked by our new brand's look and feel while retaining the same committed support for our students. This is the core of our mission under the guiding tenets of trustworthiness, care, and clarity. CSU Global is proud to be your chosen educational partner now and moving forward. Through the innovation of live stream technology, CSU Global brings graduates together to celebrate this prestigious achievement from 47 states and locations around the world, such as Pompeii, London, and Ho Chi Minh City. Congratulations to our newest graduates in the class of 2019 and enjoy the ceremony. Hello, and welcome to our commencement ceremony today. I'm Tavia Danch, Community Outreach Manager at Colorado State University Global, and it is my distinct pleasure to serve as the Master of Ceremonies today live from the CSU Global Headquarters in Aurora, Colorado. Before we begin, we have learned that due to extremely high traffic on our website, not all guests may have been able to join. You have, we have provided the new direct link in the chat field now. Class of 2019, you have long anticipated this day. Today, we celebrate you, your hard work, your determination, and your achievements. Welcome, graduating class of 2019, your friends and loved ones, and CSU Global faculty and staff. As a 100% online state university dedicated to ensuring your education is personalized to your success as well as your busy lives, we are so pleased to host a completely virtual commencement ceremony to celebrate our graduating Golden Eagles. Let me begin today by explaining how you as graduates, family, and friends can engage with us and each other throughout the ceremony to make the most of today. All of this information is available online and we posted that information in the chat section. To participate in the live chat, you must have a Google or YouTube account. Once signed in, you will be able to comment directly into the chat feed that is located to the right of the live stream. If you experience technical issues, please post them in the chat and our support staff 
will try to troubleshoot any issues you might have. We also have moderators on standby that are there to answer any questions you might have throughout the ceremony. Feel free to introduce yourself in the chat and use the space to get to know each other. We especially welcome congratulation messages. And on that note, we encourage you to join the conversation and congratulate your graduates and each other on social media using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads. We especially want you to share pictures of who you are viewing with and where you are viewing from so that everybody can see. The entire commencement ceremony will be available to view shortly after our broadcast concludes. To receive a notification on when this video as well as other videos are available, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. While we do encourage you to engage throughout the ceremony, we do ask that you remain respectful and appropriate as we reserve the right to remove anything not in the spirit of this ceremony. If you'd like to download a copy of today's program with a full list of graduates, a link can be found at csuglobal.edu forward slash commencement 2019 at the bottom of the page. Printed programs will also be available for order from now until December 21st. The link to the form has been posted in that chat section as well. To celebrate with our global community, we arranged for a few short look-ins with our graduates from across the country. So before we officially begin the ceremony, we will first check in with our student commencement speaker, Bridget Hawks. Interviewing Bridget will be Andy Dixon, Associate Vice President of Marketing and Engagement here at CSU Global. Thanks, Tavia. And hi, Bridget and Clan. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Andy. Hi. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, and congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so why don't you start by just uh, telling me where you're watching from and who is there with you watching? We are watching near Akron, Ohio, and I have my mother-in-law, Myrtle, my daughter, Chloe, my husband, Jeremy, my son, Elijah, and my daughter, Madison. What a great-looking family. Are you guys so excited and proud of your of Bridget? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I don't want to steal too much away from your speech, Bridget, but can you kind of tell me what the best part from your perspective is about finishing your degree and how it's helped you? Uh, the best part is having weekends back for a little while <laughs> before I start back with my MBA. Um, it's helped me immensely just progress my career, um, how I participate in society, um, just being a more well-rounded individual and member of society. Now, you travel a lot for your work, right? Where were you this week again? I was in Chicago, Illinois, for the Radiology Society of North America convention, um, presenting to radiologists and leaders in uh, technology and healthcare. Wow. Well, you must have a great support network in order to help with all the travel and school and work and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to uh, thank anybody else that's not with you there today? Um, I want to thank my sister-in-law, Adriana, who's watching, and my mother, Mavis, for giving me the intellect and intelligence that I have today. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Well, again, we look forward to hearing more about you and, and your, your journey and your speech later, but um, thank you very much for joining. Congratulations, <laughs> and what a wonderful family you have, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy and Bridget. And now let's officially start our ceremony with how we would start any ceremony, with the singing of our national anthem. Today's rendition will be performed by Regan Villarreal, a class of 2019 graduate, as well as a CSU Global Enrollment Counselor. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night 
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Regan, for lending your talent to today's ceremony. Good morning. I'm Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker, president of CSU Global. It is wonderful to be with you today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates in a very CSU Global way. Convening our community through the assistance of technology provides equal ease of access so that we can enjoy this historic moment together. CSU Global has students that reside in every U.S. state and territory in 60 countries. And so for today's ceremony, we have graduates participating from around the world representing 28 degree programs. Today is an exciting time for all of us as we recognize and celebrate our graduates and we express our thanks to the friends, family members, and CSU Global stakeholders who have helped facilitate our graduates' academic success. With that in mind, I would now like to thank the Colorado State University System and the Board of Governors. It is their understanding of the important work that we do at CSU Global that supports our continued success in providing high quality, career relevant, and affordable education. I would also like to thank the CSU Global staff and faculty for their continued support and dedicated hard work towards helping our students. Their daily efforts have facilitated our graduate success to get us to today. And I would now like to specially recognize our veterans, active military, and their family members. We thank you for your dedicated service in protecting our country and our freedom. We are deeply grateful for your sacrifices. As part of our ceremony, we have received a number of videos from our graduates that we will now show you. And while those run, I encourage you to personally thank those that have supported you during your degree journey in the live chat box to the right of your screen. Hello, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone that supported me during my long, rigorous journey with CSU Global. As you all know, I did a really accelerated program and it was very um, difficult, but I'm ultimately glad that I did it. I was able to graduate with my degree earlier and I just thank so much for my mom who was there that supported me and pushed me and my husband who stood by me and supported me as well. Hello everyone, my name is Aju Thomas and I, I thank God first of all for uh, enabling me to complete my degree and graduate from CSU Global. Uh, I want to uh, thank my family, my wife Lindsay and my son Nathaniel who helped me so much. He, they gave me time to do my assignments and to complete all my tasks that are related to my education. And I thank CSU Global and all my instructors for encouraging me and helping me to put my 100% effort in all, in all my assignments and everything that I did in school. Thank you so much and I congratulate all the graduates and everyone else who is also graduating with me today. Hi, I would like to thank my husband Jerome Miller for always supporting me. I would like to thank my parents, my in-laws, my children, um, everybody who supports me and allows me to stay cooped up in my room on weekends just doing my homework, making sure I get everything together. Thank you for my professors for never letting me settle for anything less than the best. Um, I'm just so excited to graduate. Thank you. I would just like to thank my friends and family for ongoing encouragement and support as well as CSU Global for providing a program that worked for me and my professors for providing inspiration and facilitating critical thinking. But most importantly, I would like to thank Mindy for picking up the loose ends at home when I was dropping the ball or was too busy writing research papers. Um, your patience and understanding was absolutely essential to my success. And I want to thank my toddler, Tegan, for ongoing happiness, love, and smiles. Hey, fellow graduates. Just wanted to quickly say congratulations to everybody that is completing their degrees today. Um, I just wanted to take a few quick minutes to thank a few people in my life. 
Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, Ana Lugo, aka The Dragon, for, you know, always supporting me through this entire process and making sure that I got my homework done on time. Uh, secondly, I would like to say thank you to my work, uh, T-Mobile, for helping pay for my degree because it was really awesome for them to invest in my future. Hello, my name is Amanda Gustafson and I'm here today to say thank you to some very important people in my life. First, I would like to say thank you to my husband, Eric, for all the love and support that you gave me and encouraging me every single step of the way. I truly appreciate it and I couldn't have done it without you. I would also like to say thank you to my four beautiful daughters, Hannah, Laurel, Abigail, and Zoe. Allowing me to step back and finish this degree means more to me than you'll ever know. And I truly appreciate your support and love. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye. Hi, Ma. Um, for the last almost 20 years, you've uh, stayed on me about um, obtaining my degree. Um, I remember you making me promise you that uh, before you die, um, that I would get my degree. And... Um, I can just tell you this, um, it's been hard, it's been rough, it's been uh, grinding, but um, I'm standing before you here today to tell you that I finally, finally fulfilled that promise to you by obtaining my degree. And I want to say thank you and that I love you so much and I hope that you're proud of me. And now graduates, it is my distinct honor and privilege to formally congratulate you on reaching today's milestone. You have accomplished much to get to this point, juggling your work, family responsibilities, and community service, all while keeping up with your CSU Global School work. For some of you, getting today has taken decades, and for others, it may have only been a few years, but no matter the length of time, we know that it has not been an easy journey, and we applaud your tenacity and determination. For all of our participants today, wherever it is you may be, I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the ceremony as we celebrate our graduate success. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Takeda Tinker, and thank you to all of the graduates who submitted thank you videos. To view those submitted videos, you can visit the link in the chat after this ceremony. I would now like to introduce you to our student commencement speaker, Bridget Hawks. Bridget is graduating with her bachelor's degree in healthcare administration and management and is joining us from her home in Ohio. My name is Bridget Hawks. I'm a lifelong lover of education and self-improvement. I majored in healthcare administration and management and am excited to continue stepping into the future and all that it has to offer. I wanna thank CSU Global for giving me the flexibility to earn my degree on my own time and with my own personalized learning path. At CSU Global, I was able to complete my degree while having a family and a full-time career. As I look back over the past four years during my CSU Global journey, I am reminded of the Zig Ziglar quote. The past is your lesson, the present is your gift, the future is your motivation. We have today and it's our reward for all the time energy, tears and frustrations of past lessons that took up our days, nights, and weekends. Time that we longed to spend with our friends and family as we gave up another weekend of going out, staying behind to write what seemed like the millionth essay. During my time at CSU Global, I gave birth to two children and also had another young child already at home. I wanted nothing more than to spend every waking moment with my family. I sacrificed all my extra time focusing on completing my degree so my children would be able to look up to me as they got older and know that they could obtain anything they worked hard to gain. For those of us that were lucky, our sacrifice was met with encouragement and love for the goals we were striving toward. My family and colleagues have supported my education path at CSU Global, praising me when I excelled and also encouraging me to keep going when I felt burnt out from the daily pressures of home, work, and school. While we all had what seemed as endless amounts of schoolwork, we were gifted with opportunities that come with earning a college degree. Opportunities such as intellectual and social preparation for our career and adult lives, 
better pain in higher skilled jobs, and an increase in overall happiness and stability. Since I began at CSU Global, I have been promoted three times at my current place of employment. I am now a clinical workflow manager at one of the largest physician groups in the United States. I have been nominated to attend leadership courses and represent my company traveling to numerous hospitals around the United States, training radiology staff and radiologists on our healthcare platform. The high level of education and experience that I received through my healthcare administration and management degree has increased my skill set, raised my pay, and has brought me an abundance of happiness in my career that I never would have received had I not went back to school to complete my education. Everyone that is in attendance for today's commencement has worked tirelessly to earn their degree, to earn their knowledge, and to earn the right for a better future not only for ourselves, but for all future generations that come after us. The past was our lesson, the present is our gift, the future is our motivation. Today's celebration should be cherished, but let's not forget why we all chose to earn our degree in the first place. We were each hungry for change, for ourselves, our family, our community, and our marketplace. Move forward into the unknown, You'll never be sorry for stepping into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Bridget, for your inspiring speech and congratulations on earning your degree. Erin Gorin will now be presenting today's keynote address. Erin is the president of Digital Media, EVP of Communications at USIM. A true marketing visionary, Erin is responsible for leading USIM's integrated strategies, innovation, and digital operations. He combines experience and leadership in marketing and analytics with a deep understanding of how technology is changing the way businesses acquire, retain, and service customers. Please join me in welcoming Aaron Gorin. Hi, my name is Aaron Gorin. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak here today. And I'm honored to share with you my background and experiences. I was born into a middle-class family, uh, that had a very strong work ethic that carried down to both my brother and myself. At the age of nine, I started a dog walking business and shortly after a car washing business. At the age of 13, when I was legally allowed to work, I started a paper route business. In college, I started developing quite a few business plans that unfortunately or fortunately never materialized. Uh, the fortunate part, it was the dot-com era, um, and then again, obviously, the crash. I decided that uh, it was best that I would stay in school uh, and complete uh, my degree. Uh, and I finished early with a finance uh, degree through the University of Texas and stayed for my full four years to earn my management information system degree, uh, which then led me to my first career which was investment banking. I thought I would be able to change the world and this would be the pursuit of happiness for me. Uh, after a short brief period of understanding what the job entailed, um, I decided it was not for me and uh, jumped on the bandwagon of the dot-com days. I worked in a couple of different software companies um, and uh, even though it was fun at that time, I learned quite a lot uh, but the biggest thing I learned was I wanted to work for myself. I always had a passion to help companies do better, improve their operations and create business efficiencies. So I started a consulting firm focusing on sales and marketing strategy. Uh, did that for a few years and uh, slowly realized the complexity of growing a business. I was fortunate to work with one of our uh, clients very closely. Uh, and that allowed us to understand more about advertising. And that led us to pivot our business, the consulting agency, to become more of an advertising agency. And uh, fortunate again, that, uh, that during our time of 2006 or so, I was able to exit that business to a private equity entity. Um, another lesson learned was 
uh, always know who you're working with and partnering with. I sold the business and stayed on for a short brief period and decided that uh, this was not for me and I was ready to start a new business again. In 2007, I started another agency. This time I was more fortunate uh, to have already gained a lot of knowledge about the industry that I wanted to be in, uh, relationships. And so uh, during 07, uh, when we started a business um, and we're able to grow it very quickly, even though it was a down economy in 08, 09, uh, we were very fortunate to be in the right place in the right time. I sold that business in 2010 to a much larger strategic acquirer, uh, which I'm still part of today. Uh, as you look forward and you think about how businesses change and your career changes, um, I use the word pivot quite often in my life, uh, both in my personal life and in my career. I see that individuals have to continue to pivot uh, to find the things that they most enjoy. Uh, no different than businesses having to pivot and identify the best opportunities. Um, I share this because I think that all this ties into the ultimate piece, which is education. I think of education much broader than purely getting a college or university degree. I think of education as the pursuit of continuous knowledge. And for me, it is always to learn and to educate myself on the latest things that are going on. Um, I was fortunate, as I said, to have earned two degrees um, from a very good university, uh, but that wasn't enough and still isn't enough. And I think as we look at today, the value of education and the information that's available out there, it's unlimited. The opportunity for knowledge is available at our fingertips. And I highly recommend for individuals to continue to look at that. And the reason for that is we're seeing a continuous changing landscape in the business environment. And part of that has to do with advancements in technology, um, efficiencies that we've developed, uh, and in technology, specifically machine learning. I believe that the next 10 years are going to be significantly different for us in terms of the value that education brings and the requirement of education more so than ever before. And I look at education as providing us the ability to have critical thinking capabilities. I think of education as the ability to learn new jobs, new traits. I think that with this change in technology and machine learning, we're going to see a significant change in the type of jobs that are available and the type of jobs that are not going to be available. This is not to scare anybody here. I think that you are all very fortunate that you have this great degree from CSU Global. It is going to help you significantly in your next career and the next jobs that you pursue, both in your personal life. I think that we will identify where those changes are going to occur and ability for us to learn from those changes and continue to adapt our needs in education in our traits to be able to have the job of the future. I believe that also goes to personal growth. I think that individuals need to continue to identify what makes them happy. You quite often hear that, but actually putting that into practice is a lot more complex. I, I personally have gone through many careers over time and in those different changes, I always have to ask the question is, what job would make me happy? And is this job going to be the right one or is it not? Sometimes it's trial and error. Sometimes it requires a lot of research. I think that all of them require some brave aspect to take that challenge. And if it isn't the right path, it isn't the right job, be able to make a change. Don't be scared of making that change. It's never too late to make that change, but don't sit and think about it, do it. I've done it with starting companies. I've been very fortunate, um, but I've also made a lot of mistakes in that process. And every one of those mistakes, I learned something. And I use it on the next job or on the next company. And I continue to think about it this way. 
So my words of advice, find a subject, career, that you most, will enjoy, most enjoy, the one that you want to be in, and pursue it. You'll be successful in doing that versus the concept of pursuing money, or pursuing a company to make money. In those situations, it's very difficult at the, at the end and ultimately to be happy. Um, and a lot of times to be successful. I've never started a company with that mindset and I don't believe it's the right mindset. So I leave you with a few words. Always pursue something that you're happy with. Always pursue the right career that makes you happy. That goes also into personal growth. So congratulations to everyone here and I wish you the best at your new start. Thank you, Aaron, for your inspiring words. It is now my honor to introduce Governor Rico Munn from the Colorado State University System Board of Governors to make a few remarks and to begin the conferral of degrees. On behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, it is truly an honor to be a part of today to celebrate your accomplishments as new CSU Global graduates. I've been fortunate enough to be a part of quite a few commencement ceremonies in the past but I will say that this one is truly unique as it is the first fully online ceremony that I've had the pleasure of participating in. It's fitting that it's coming from CSU Global, a university that I'm proud to say continues to stay on the cutting edge of delivering the best possible educational experiences for you as students and now graduates. We are grateful that you've chosen to study and earn your degree with our school and are thrilled to be able to welcome you as alumni of CSU Global and the CSU system. And now, on behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, Dr. Takeda Tinker, I hereby authorize you to confer the recommended degree upon these graduates. Congratulations. Thank you, Governor Munn. We will now proceed to the degree conferral, beginning with candidates for bachelor's degrees and then continuing on with our candidates for master's degrees. Helping me read our graduates' names today are Enoch Fredericks and Lauren Galena. We will do our best to pronounce your name correctly. Friends and family, unlike a traditional commencement where you are asked to hold your applause until the end, we encourage you to cheer loudly from wherever you are. And of course, send messages to congratulate your graduate using the chat section, and of course, on social media using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads. Names will be read in alphabetical order by degree program and a slide with your name and program will be shown at this time. The slides also include any pictures that were submitted during registration. Please note honors distinctions on the slides are as of November 18th. We will first recognize our bachelor's degree candidates starting with graduates in our bachelor's of science in accounting. Bachelor's Degree Candidates Bachelor of Science in Accounting Jacqueline Marie Anderton Christina Danielle Bananca Chelsea Benham Hilary Lee Elmore Bolinsky Ariel Bollinger Kamana Chand Michaela Church Kayla Clark Zachary Klein Jason R. Dale Nathan Richard Decker Jennifer Lynn Dominguez Carol Eisenthal Brett Griggs Ahmed I. Hassan Shannon M. Hope Sarah Iverson Richard James Jennifer Keaton Marion Benjamin Krogel Caitlin A. Lambert Rachel Matheson Angelica Monique Maxwell Ordain Matthew McCarthy Laketch McConnon Lauren E. Mitchell Brian Chunil Park Danielle Podolsnik Saide Kate Russell Jill Ann Sabrowski 
Paul D. Salau. Bensi Rufo San Jose. Sharon Lynn Sanchez. Geneva Scales. Kathy Shoup. Amy Lynn Spencer. Larissa Starr. Clayton D. Stewart. Alicia Sumner. Chloe Renee Tate. Tiffany Turner. Eva Voles. Christina Michelle Whidden. Emily C. Whittefield. Deanna Wilkes. Alexandria Wisniewski. Carrie Ann Yerges. Jack D. Ziska. Bachelor of Science in Applied Social Sciences. Andrea Carnahan. Jessica Cheever. Christine E. Epperson. Joel Kneebone. Julie Levy. Sarah Marie Andaya. Akintunde Ayinde Nals. Ginger Carrie Nix. Donica Nicole Tilly. Bachelor of Science in Business Management. Joshua David Banks. Krista L. Baptiste. Christian Matthew Barber. Connie F. Braco. Brittany Nicole Caldwell. Brittany Marie Casares. Daniel V. Cervantes. Melissa Marie Chorb. Taylor L. Constable. James A. Cormier. Brandon Crabtree. Cheyenne Crawford. Eric Culberson. Joanne Fabi. Renee Ann Barksdale Fenton Stone. Rosart Galanxi. Jeanette C. Gonzalez. Anna C. Goolsby. Casey Gould. Rebecca Guerrero de Salvis. Sean D. Gustafson. Amanda Marie Gustafson. Manuela Gisela Hand. Nicholas M. Heyer. Nicola Herrera. Caitlin Hill. Aaron E. Honeywell. Noor Jana. Sandra Katz. Christopher Kit M. Cavanaugh. Sarah Elizabeth Lavishak. Kimberly A. Lafave. Yvonne Hanwang Lau. Shelly Lynn Lindenfelser. Kailani Litchfield. Samantha Ray Littleton. Laura Lopez. Brandy L. Martinez. Nicholas D. Martinez. Katarzyna Montea. Mark A. McCartney. Samantha Michelle McCurry. Corey A. Misowicz. Zachary Montaneri. Ray A. Morse. Brenda Lee Nelson. Colton James Northey Sr. Madeline Michelle Orban. Margaret Parisa. Esmedin Petkovic. Marin J. Patton. Riley Pierce. Lauren Michael Powell. Pablo Gabriel Rodriguez. Rosario C. Roth. Rachelle Nicole Cervante. James Shea. Ansul Sarista. Kiana A. Silvia. Alicia Noel Smith. Kale G. Smith. Sinanu Jiza Zoga. Dylan Benjamin Turley Rule. Don M. Valpel. Jessica A. Zitzer. Bachelor of Science in Communication. Christy Lynn Abram. Emily Jean Blossberg. Paige R. Boyer. Matthew C. Bragg. 
Meredith S. Butcher. Madeline C. Duran. Cody Galvez. Michaela A. Haggerty. Emily Ann Hendrickson. Simon A. Hurst. Catherine Ellen Jacobs. Nawal Jalil. Jacqueline Lopez. Jessica M. Ochiltree. Adam F. Skinner. Andrea Marie Smith. Nicole L. Speak. Catherine M. Woodruff. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Selena Cousins. Taylor A. Davis. Jeremy Robert Dorinsky. Rachel Olivia Gaunt. Aaron W. Glee. Curtis Ray Jeffalo Jr. Catherine A. McCaffrey. Derek W. Peck. Ryan Ashley Visick. Keith R. Woodruff Jr. Jessica A. Yates. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration and Management. Jennifer Ann Atchison. Drew William Barron Cross. Alana K. Basuk. Melissa Marie Brailsford. Concepcion Caraballo. Patty C. Cha. Amanda M. Fiesler. Casey Joe Felton. Alexis Ray Gutierrez. Bridget Hawks. April S. Jordan. Suzanne Marie Korb. Danielle Luke. Alicia Martineau. Tiffany Ann McGovern. Anissa K. Mendez. Caitlin R. Moore. Ashley D. Morell. Jamie M. Orso. Marinella Ortiz Chavez. Rosa M. Porlaski. Raquel A. Rivera. Amanda Joy Rowe. Catherine Michelle Sakai. Barbara Ann Sharp. Elena Schilling. Erica Smith. Charlisa A. Smith. Kathleen M. Stage. Melissa Steck LeBlanc. Stephanie Wilkins. Tracy A. Danisak. Timothy W. Kimberlin II. Angela Diane Lengua. Tina Marie Seneff. Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management. Tammy Ammerman. Sarah Baird. Richard Wayne Briggs. Tracy L. Camp. Thomas W. Carlson. Rachel A. Conley. Teresa M. Dedman. Jessica Edmondson. Don Foster. Leanne Renee Green. Sandra Hampton. Matthew D. Halubachuk. Mary Anita Lobst. Kristen L. James. Lauren A. Jensen. Verna R. Lloyd. Casey Patrick McCown. Kristen K. Newell. Renee Ellen Peterson. Mary Brooke Pretty. Shalin Provencio. Nadia Celeste Riviera. Heather Teresa Romano. Brady T. Russell. Heather Lynn Solden. Danielle Strickland. Johnny Somerville Jr. Nathan Henry Wood Turley. Madeline Van Haveren. Julianne M. Warzinski. Bachelor of Science in Human Services. Holly Marie Blanchard. Ashley A. Beard. Christopher G. DeCuna. Kanika M. Evans. Harmony Eve Hale. 
Jamie Ann Hepplewhite Terry. Chelsea Elizabeth Kinunen. Chanel R. Lathers. Melinda J. Rivera. Audra L. Salas. Miranda K. Sanner. Renee N. Sheldon. Tony Solano. Jacob D. Timlin. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Marty Danielle Arbiquez. Ramesh Adhikari. Tyler Curtis Alcox. Joshua A. Allen. Aaron Joel Anderson. Willard Bald. Aaron James Becker. Elliot J. Bell. Shondell Best Warren. Michael J. Breitenfeld. William Campbell. Laura M. Carver. Desiree Carboneau Randolph. Stephen Charles IV. Chester Cherenje. Jonathan David Klein. John C. Cohen. Angelique Jolin Colon. Jeremy Cotter. Joshua Allen Demmer. Melina T. Doan. Tabitha Durham. Kenneth J. Evans Sr. Daniel A. Fernandez. Carlos Arcadio Flores. Misty M. Garrett. Michelle A. Garrett. Allison R. Golick. Jesse E. Gossett. Muhammad Amin K. Hama. Rashad Leonard Hart. Peter J. Holcomb. Brett R. Husby. Malinsi Telson Kafos. Candice Kinzer. Jeremy Lundberg. Yamil Mendez Montes. Kevin Wayne Miller. Gregory Norris. Stan Panfilov. Scotty Patana. Roger D. Perkins Jr. Tanner Reams. Andrew Richardson. Eric M. Sanders. Dion Dwayne Smith Jr. Hunter Stamps. Shamal Rashan Stewart. Firewane F. Tiwolde Medin. Todd C. Toller. Andrew Lewis West. Jan Williams. Jacqueline Kendra Womack. Shane Patrick Woods. Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Professional Studies. Aaron M. Flynn. Lisa M. Morandi. Christopher C. Stevenson. Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems and Business Analytics. Keenan Abeta. Christopher K. Baptiste. Hewat Zudi Debock. Charles Joseph Eakin. Brian Hope. Jason M. Ingram. Amanda Cable Jonke. Arnetta Renee Knight. Vincent Koslowski. Raleigh Macklin. Alan Marks. Sharon Miller. Peter Kamau Manyambu. Ashley Pace. John Lester Price. Joshua Allen Reed. Nicholas Running. Erica Lily Soriano Arden. Aju M. Thomas. Anthony Vulo. David B. Zimmerman. Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Darian Ann Green. Jessica M. Heiser. Beth Hester. Sarah Ashley Reed. Denzel L. Rogan. Laura D. Theraldson. Aubrey Viditich. 
Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership. Joni C. Akkad. Danny Michael Beckley Jr. Wendy J. Berrios. Daniel Wesley Brookshire II. Marlene Elaine Brown. Terry E. Byram. Kayla Campbell. Roberto Cruel. Brian J. Daniels. Norman C. De Guzman. Kyle Fortner. Daniel J. Gibbs. Abigail J. Gillingham. David Alfred Thane Gove. Jennifer L. Hadley. Sally Hartwig. Tessa M. Hill. William J. Hopkins. Florence Edowu. Jessica C. Jordan. Christine Kelly. Megan Adeline Marie Kazutsky. Vanessa Camila Leal. Dwayne Madsen. Darren Malia. Robert Miles. Norbert Andrew Moreno. Rebecca Mulder. Tariq Bashir Shabazz. Devin Wayne Todd. Jonathan K. Tringali. Alicia Michelle Villasenor. Amanda S. Wallace. Bachelor of Science in Project Management. Bradley Bailey. Corey M. Bean. Connor J. Bergman. Angelica Brewer. Jessica M. Clayton. Aurora Stephanie Cracknell. Jeremy W. Crowther. Christine Marie Dominguez. Christopher A. Dumel. Robert D. Fletcher. Anthony Lewis Gibney. Christina M. Gilbert. Mark J. Gumnick. Michael J. Hanley. Wesley K. Huffman. Robert Lyle Kalish II. Christopher Kenny. Amanda Don Nysel. David Paul Leifels. Tara Malin. Jeff A. Medina. Dewey H. Noble IV. Angela Deanne Noyan. Jacob Scott Orban. Carolyn Hong Fan. Christina M. Pruitt. Joy Terrain. William S. Todd. Jermaine L. Turner. Joel Paul Whitlock, Jr. Mai Zhang. Bachelor of Science in Public Management. Christina A. Yulao. Congratulations to all of our undergraduate students. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. Don't forget to congratulate each other on social media using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrads. We apologize for any names or honors distinctions that were either omitted on the slides or if the grades and degree conferral were still pending final confirmation. Thank you for bringing this to our attention in the comments. If any other honors distinctions were missed or other errors made, please accept our sincerest apologies. And now, a short message from CSU Global faculty. Hello, graduates. This is Dr. Flores, and congratulations. I'm very proud of you. This is a big day, but this is a day where you make it known that you're going to expand your knowledge. Do everything you can to accumulate more information, more knowledge, more expertise, whether it's professional development or another degree, whatever it is, never stop learning. Good luck. Congratulations to the healthcare graduates. You are the future of our healthcare industry and our program and our faculty couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. Best wishes in all you do. 
Congratulations to the class of 2019. We are so proud of your accomplishments and wish you the best as you continue on to make the world a better place in your professional and personal journeys. Hi, this is Dr. Jason Giese, Program Chair of the Marketing Program, and I want to wish all of you a congratulations for graduating Class of 2019, especially those from the Marketing Program. Hello, graduates. This is Michael Skiba here, Program Chair, Criminal Justice. Virtual congratulations and applause. Fantastic work. We are so proud of you. Getting a degree is not an easy task. We all know this, so very nicely done. We are so proud of you. Congratulations and enjoy your day. Congratulations to the class of 2019. I'm so proud of your hard work and your dedication. Teaching and learning faculty, Dr. James Brown, congratulates all of our CSUG graduates for 2019. Congratulations, graduates. Well, hello and congratulations. Congratulations, class 2019. Uh, well, I wish you the very best. You have uh, much to be proud of, and we wish you all the best in your academic journey, your personal journey, and uh, best wishes for your accomplishments. Once again, congratulations. You have much to be proud of. Bye bye. DSU Global. Ground Control, this is Dr. Tom, communicating from another dimension. I have a message for our 2019 graduates. Congratulations to all of you. I am proud of you on achieving this great goal in your educational journey. You should be proud of yourself as well. Now take time, celebrate and enjoy with your family and friends. Then go back to work. Use your education to make our world a better place. Live long and prosper. This is Dr. Tom signing off. Hey guys, congratulations, job well done. A long time ago, a good friend of mine gave me some really good advice. I was about to join the military and I was a little bit nervous. And he said to me, Keith, take the bull by the horns. And I would like to pass that on to you as well. With your degree in hands, take the bull by the horns and do great things. I'm now excited to welcome Paula and Andrea Hemmer from Illinois. Both Paula and Andrea are graduating with their master's in healthcare administration today. You may have noticed that they have the same last name and fun fact, they are actually mother and daughter. Once again, we'll turn to Andy Dixon to interview these graduates. Hi, Paul. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for joining us today. Hi. 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 So you guys have just an amazing story. So, but I want to start by just learning who, where you're calling from and who's there with you watching. Uh, we're calling from uh, Geneva, Illinois, which is just outside of Chicago. And we're here with both of our husbands and Andrea's 10 month old baby. <laughs> Wow. Well, you're doing a very good job having the, the grand or the parents take care of the baby, I guess. So, <laughs> um, but you are a mother and daughter who finished your degree program together, correct? What was that like? Uh, it was good. It was nice to have the support of the other person working towards a common goal. We both had different reasons for getting our masters, but we had this, you know, same common goal to get our degree. Um, and so it was nice to have the support of the other person. Yeah, absolutely. So, what was your reason for getting your degree, Andrea? Uh, mine was just to advance my career, and I work in a medical practice now, but, um, you know, looking forward to what the next step is, and, and if this felt like the right fit for me. Yeah, master's degree would definitely help with that. And Paula, what about you? Why did you go back to school? Uh, I started a master's degree 39 years ago and quit halfway through to help my husband start a business and never went back, and it's always been a regret. And so my daughter convinced me that I should uh, pursue that goal. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. How did you guys help each other? I mean, obviously you guys had to work and do classes independently, but how did it help outside of the like discussions and things? 
Yeah, you know, we, because of our schedules, we didn't actually, we weren't physically together a lot studying, but we were able to exchange ideas or, you know, something didn't make sense to one of us, maybe it made sense to the other person. So we could kind of, you know, collaborate on that and figure out, okay, you know, where are we going with this and just get help in that way. Kind, kind of a built-in study buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, were there any challenges? I mean, did you ever, one of you want to quit and the other person had to help stay motivated? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> several <laughs> times. And I know for me, it was hard after after having the baby. And then also, you know, my mom's mother and my grandma passed away oh, um, halfway through our, our degree program. And so I know it was really hard, especially for her to, to come back after that, just, you know, dealing with grief and everything and, and trying to stay focused and motivated and just keep going. Yeah, that can be a challenge with all those other things. But I'm so proud of you guys for keep sticking with it and getting here today. Um, anyone else that you'd like to thank, obviously, besides each other that helped you get here? Really just our families. Um, you know, my husband really had to step up big time after we had the baby, especially. It's it's hard to get work done, papers done <laughs> with, you know, a newborn, six month, 10 month old, all that. And so, you know, I had a lot of help from family just watching the baby so that I could go do a homework assignment. I work full time as well. So just, you know, all three of those things. And, and I really had a lot of family support. That's amazing. Paula, anybody else? Support yeah. from my husband. And, um, and I appreciate that my mother valued education. That's great. Well, uh, again, we're just so proud of you guys. Congratulations again on getting here today and can't wait to hear what you're on to next. So congrats and thanks again for joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks. Paula and Andrea, thank you so much for sharing your story. How wonderful that you both had the opportunity to support, motivate, and most importantly, celebrate with each other. Join the conversation and congratulate Paula, Andrea, your graduates, and each other on social media using that hashtag CSUGlobalGrads. We especially encourage you to share pictures from wherever you are viewing from today and with, since we have students joining from all over the country and all over the world. We will now recognize our master's degree candidates. As with our undergraduate students, names will be read alphabetically and by program. Please celebrate our graduates in the comments and on social media using that hashtag CSUGlobalGrads. We will start with our graduates from our master's degree in criminal justice and law enforcement administration. Master's degree candidates. Master of Criminal Justice. Galen B. Grippen. Katrina Nicole Peckenham. Rochelle M. Peltz. Melina Michelle Gardner. Master of Finance. Banful E. Banful. Andrew Ryan Berman. Kevin Boylan. Mark B. Eisenhuth. Jennifer Lynn Failer. Christina Marie Anayela Gallo. Matthew Tim Jensen. Anastasia V. Pelachud. Jacqueline Pipkin. Medina Prophet. Cheryl Purim. Michelle C. Taylor. Tamala R. Tenard. Trevor Paul Wagner. Tamara M. Bradford. Brandon Casey Faircloth. Caitlin Franklin. Christopher L. Kelly. Julius Ali Mansa. Keith McQueen. Stephen Mark Merritt. Kelsey T. Rutledge. Master of Healthcare Administration. Michelle Lee Albright. Shakir Awan. Darcy A. Balderrama. Megan Bannister. Aaron M. Beecher. Misty L. Benson. Ishani Badiadara. Chris Bollinger. Elizabeth Ann Booth. Rebecca A. Brewer. Jennifer Marie Carmona. Tori Taylor Craig. Carly Joy Den Braver. Amber M. Day. 
Karen Fang. Samuel Fleming. Aaron H. Hammond. Angela Hagee. Carrie Highstand. Paula Calvin Hemmer. Brian Irvin Holloway. Jacqueline E. Hume. Stacy Hammond Johnston. Amanda Keelholz. Lindsay Lee. Ingrid Locke. Julie Christine Macias. Chevette T. Madden. Matthew Mazurek. Marcus J. Miller. Matthew T. Mymern. Julianne Negron. Kristen Post. Aaron Nicole Potter. Adele Luann Rogers. Mickey L. Ryan. Robin Joy Shattuck. Beverly C. Shahan. Julie A. Sodmont. Katia Stakiv. Elaine Swain. Kirsten Zabo. Venus Valencia. Zach Wujasek. Viviana Marie Arvelo. Laura Ashley Athens. Colleen J. Barker. Marilyn June Barron. Carol Lynn Charvet. Erica Kelly Fukushima. Andrea Hemmer. Michael T. Jackson. Sarah L. McCurgo. Michelle Medellin. Jillian Gina Moore. Ashley Mirioka. Sisha Ephraim Okashe. Chelsea Douglas Skaggs. Jonathan Thurn. Tyler Wagner. Amanda K. Winchester. Master of Healthcare Administration and Management. Emilia Dimitrio. Tina Jeanette Eunice Gibson. Vanessa R. Goldberg. April T. Nichols. Allison D. Rose. Master of Human Resource Management. Sarah H. Adams. Angel Adrian Aponte. Deanna Michelle Bays. Aubrey Joseph Bedell. Stephanie E. Bricker. Catherine B. Brummett. Amanda Collins. Brooke Connolly. Natasha Ophelia Kraft. Teresa Curtis. Karen Daniels. Victoria R. Foster. Carolyn R. Garthus. Yari C. L. Grimes. Julie Marina Hillier. Melanie A. Hubler. Chestine Hinton Hughes. Tara Johns. Lashana L. Kimball. Jenna Mars. Erica N. Martinez. Jeremy Neal Mattingly. Kelly R. McQueen Cow. Lakeisha Lashawn Mitchell. Amanda Morgan. Tien Naguyan. Carrie Noble. Jamie Lee Perry. Angel C. Prell. Julie J. Pulju. Spencer C. Rogers. Andrea Sakura. Mugda Natin Shah. Kimberly K. Shaminsky. Brianna Nicole Shockley. Jamie L. Smith. Keisha Lene Spencer. Taylor Sterling. Reagan L. Swan. Deanna E. Torres. Andrea Williams. Kenya P. Williams. Salman Yusuf. Master of Information Technology Management. Asa James Buplan. 
Brandy C. Brooks. Natalie Claire Carneal. Brian Chavez. Shannon Joseph Colette. Michael Davis. Bilal Udin Mohammed. Ankita Naik. Dimitri Proshak. Kyle M. Quarles. Richard Shanner. Karan Malik Williams. Paniz Askari. Michael W. Byers. Pratima Ja. Master of International Management. Teresa Acosta. Alexandria Jane Cervantes. Andrew Lee. Master of Professional Accounting. Imran Asan. Freshta Ada Darwitzada. Kayla Danielle Brown. Nicholas Anthony Brabham. Michelle Waltz Bulaun. Letta Jane Campbell Larson. Rosemarie Chartier. Tanya Grace Chen. Justin R. Comfort. John Thomas Ernest. James A. Eccles. Michael J. Fleury. Alexis Victoria Frazzini. Linda French. Laura Elizabeth Gomez. Agnes Kronoroff. Victoria Bon Nagata. Jared Rodney Najar. Sophia Overstreet. Sean C. Riley. Zach Roth. Kyle C. Smith. Randy N. Stevens. Rachel Gracious Stoops. Olga Trujillo. Corey Thomas Weaver. James T. Whirlton V. Danielle Wide Bode. Anicia Monique Cyrus. Master of Project Management. Aaron Bartels. Christina Bates. Zachary Baxter. Thomas R. Bochardi. Katie J. Clement. Lynette A. Don. Mayra E. Fazio. Michelle L. Foss. Joshua Han. Johnny Laird. Christopher F. Liu Daniels. Benjamin G. Veblen. Justin Wandry. Brittany Ann Williams. Alan D. Wirfs. Wheaton Auger. Joshua Thomas Myers. Robert C. Nicholson. Nosa Ota Osaikuiwu. Lesta C. L. Smith. Samson Sower. Dirk Strykowski. Craig William Jr. Master of Science in Data Analytics. Chad Boyle. Toretta Scott. Master of Science in Management. Seth R. Allison. John Davies. Brandon Fletcher. Jeffrey Dwayne Halsell. Joan Catherine O'Gorman. Loretta Noel Baumgarten. Angela Blackman. Emily May Dahlbeck. Minda Leanne Fettermeyer. Megan Nicole Gobble. Latasha Y. Ng. Valentina Rossi. Maura Leticia Arias. Nikita Schmeidel. Adam S. Johnson. Master of Science in Organizational Leadership. Jennifer Cooney. Rachel Emily Klingenmeyer. Darnell M. Martin. Nathan A. Sander. Aaron Kyle Wagner. Melissa Ann Becksteed. Burl L. Bowen. K. 
Katie Bolick. Russell J. Daniels. Sika N. Davis. Co. W. Crutch. Janan Lester. Andrea R. Miller. Tanya L. Reese. Winston A. Rosinger. William Shepard. Anna D. Stone. Rebecca Arbino. Lorena Aviles Galberth. Hillary R. Davis. Eleanor Jean Olthoff. Lori K. Ortiz. Michael James Perry. Jesse William Rayworth. Rebecca E. Rhodes. Natalia Y. Munn. Mikhail Mac Sundin. Nicholas Robert Mahoney. Master of Science in Teaching and Learning. Gilberto Franco. Emily Jean Greenwood Lang. Elizabeth A. Wagner. Katie M. Lawson. Andrea Nicole McCormick. Jeanette Adrian. Kenneth Campbell Stevenson IV. Christopher Brian Phillips. Sakina Aisha Miller. Eldon J. Montaigne. Gail Royal Morris. Sean Matthew Fox. Congratulations, graduates. I want to specially call out the following graduates and honors that were not mentioned in the slides. Gloria Denise Kearney achieved a Bachelor's of Science in Human Services. Julie Ocampo Pierce, Master's of Science in Organizational Leadership. And Kristen Nuo, summa cum laude in a Bachelor's of Science Human Resources Management degree. We apologize for any names or honors distinctions that were either omitted on the slides or if grades and degree conferral were still pending final confirmation. Congratulations and thanks again for your understanding and patience. Congratulations, class of 2019. Wherever you are joining from today, your accomplishments are truly commendable and all of us here at CSU Global celebrate this achievement with you. I will now turn this over to CSU Global President, Dr. Becky Takeda Tinker, for the conferring of the degrees. For those of you who have successfully completed your programs by the authority vested in me by the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon each of you the recommended degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. I am now excited to introduce Lauren Galena to close out our ceremony and welcome you all as our newest members of our Alumni Association. What you gain from CSU Global doesn't stop after you complete your degree or certificate. The CSU Global Alumni Association offers benefits, resources, and programs to more than 14,000 alumni worldwide. The Alumni Association is non-dues based, meaning there aren't any fees associated with being a member. You are eligible to become a member upon conferral of your degree. Join Global Connect now at globalconnect.csuglobal.edu to easily access all alumni-related resources, benefits, networking, and mentoring opportunities. You can start taking advantage of all alumni benefits today. Also, if you are interested in purchasing a Class of 2019 t-shirt, visit store.csuglobal.edu and enter code CLASSOF19 for free shipping. Congratulations and welcome to the CSU Global Alumni Association. Thank you, Lauren. We are excited to welcome you all as our newest alumni. With that, our virtual commencement has come to a close. Thank you everyone for attending and we hope you enjoyed this celebration. Don't forget to keep using that hashtag CSU Global Grads on social media. And you can also visit csuglobal.edu forward slash commencement 2019 to view the recording of this broadcast, which will be available shortly. Congratulations once again, and enjoy the rest of your day. And one more mention. We have Jennifer Hadley graduating today with MSOL degree. 
Thanks, Jennifer. Congratulations.